We're here today to discuss the impact COVID has had on our economy. Specifically, we're going to discuss how the effect of COVID over the past several months has impacted the healthcare industry. I'm joined today by our chief economist, Diane Swank, and David Tyler, the national managing principal for our healthcare industry. Let's start with your observations on how the stress triggered by COVID has impacted the economy and the healthcare industry. So I'll start with Diane. The most important thing to understand is actually that COVID, the course of COVID is what determines the course of the economy. We saw in March between the period of February 16th and March 14th before one state went into lockdown, the U.S. economy lost 1.4 million jobs. And that was because of the behavioral response of consumers and businesses pulling back on everything from in-person meetings to large conferences to travel and tourism and also stopping to going to restaurants and places where they could get infected. They even pulled back, ironically, on going to see their doctors and dentists. And why that's important is this was the first service sector-led recession, which really had a disproportionate impact on the healthcare sector with layoffs large in the healthcare sector for the first time ever during a recession. And that's very unique about this, even though it was a health crisis, that the healthcare sector was hit so hard up front before we even saw lockdowns occur and the stress on the healthcare system mount. So that's really important to keep in mind. It's also important to keep in mind that the course of COVID going forward is what determines how the economy is gonna do. We saw a nice snapback in overall economic growth and the healthcare industry was certainly in there trying to play catch up on things like elective surgeries and um, trying to get some of the profitability back that they had lost due to COVID. This has really been quite a financial blow across the economy, but most notably in the healthcare sector. What's important now is that as hospitals are once again getting overwhelmed um, by COVID cases and the surge is picking up again, we're worried about the economy slipping into yet another contraction in the fourth quarter in employment. And that actually metastasizing into a much more traditional and longer lasting recessions with deeper wounds and that fester and scars on the complexion of the U.S. economy from the COVID recession. Something that we once thought was just transitory is now looking to be much more persistent and longer lasting. And the impact on the healthcare industry is one of the most notable places we're seeing it. Diane, thank you for that. And I, I'm going to turn it over to David, too. And David, um, you know, share with us what what you're seeing and how COVID has really impacted our, our healthcare clients. I'm going to put aside just the clinical aspect of the fact that hospitals are one of, and the healthcare industry is one of the only places that can't really shut down in the face of economic pressures. Uh, hospitals are at, at operating at capacity and have been doing so for, for some time now. Uh, that is that is a, a unique thing that healthcare faces. You know, we can close restaurants, but we can't really uh, afford to close many hospitals. Uh, at, at this point, one of the things that the, the entire shutdown was designed to do is build capacity um, and build breathing room and allow hospitals to get their arms around uh, just the necessary equipment, all the PPE and all those items that they needed to do to sustain and take care of each one of us. And I think we've we've made dramatic progress in that area. Now we're really seeing a focus on financial stabilization. We see hospitals and uh, large health enterprises and physician practices really looking to optimize their financial uh, recovery time to shorten that. Uh, we see a focus on uh, getting their, their supply chain in order to make certain that things like PPE and all the equipment that they need uh, will be there for us when, we, when and if we need uh, the healthcare system for that. Uh, a big focus on revenue cycle cash acceleration uh, a big push on cost reduction. We, when Diane mentioned uh, reductions in staff, even at the at the health system level, and at the physician office practice level, and we certainly see that. But we really see a push on non-staff related. So the second largest uh, expense within the healthcare system is supplies beyond people, um, and so we really see a real push to optimize the supply chain and get some costs more in line. What we really think is that. Uh, hospitals that tended to struggle and health systems that tended to struggle before COVID are struggling even mightier now. There's been some acceleration of, of the denigration of financial performance, but even amongst those that are the thrivers within the U.S. health ecosystem, we see a real struggle. We see people that have had significant margin 
uh, historically are going to struggle for the balance of calendar year 20 um, and into the first part of 2021. And we really see a focus of this really looking like survival of the fittest. There are going to be some some real disparities within the economic recovery within the healthcare enterprise. And we're really helping our clients that are in the position to look at that recovery, uh, help them navigate the things that they can do, the levers that they can pull while still operating to take care of all of us, but to recover on a, from a financial perspective. Diane, David, I appreciate your time today and your insights. So thank you. 